back to my kitchen today. We're gonna make something I can eat. Cocoa Pebble Whipped Cream. The first thing you're gonna need is some Cocoa Pebbles. Once you get that in there, you're gonna actually put them up here and blend them right up. Yes, look at that. Wow, wow. Blend it all up and nice. And now, you wanna get a bowl, add some heavy whipping cream to that bowl, and a little bit of chocolate milk, and your Cocoa Pebbles. Mix it all up, mix it all up. Then you want to make sure it's all mixed. You want to pour those cocoa pebbles directly into a sieve and just move it around and get the cocoa pebbles extract. Trying not to push it too hard, but you gotta have to to get the cocoa pebbles and heavy whipping cream and chocolate milk through and eventually you'll get this. You actually want to pour this into your whipped cream maker. If you don't have one of these, you can easily use a whisk, but I like to use a whipped cream maker. Hopefully it works. Beautiful Mom Mars, here it is. Cocoa Pebble whipped cream. Let's hope it works. I'm going to put a brownie right here. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh man, I think there are chunks that are too big, it's like clogging it up, but the whipped cream is all whipped in here now, so I'm just gonna spoon it on top. But I think it's just too chunky to come out the hole, so we have some whipped cream. I'm gonna go with strawberry, put a little bit of that on top, just like that, and make it beautiful. Even though I finally strained the cocoa pebble and heavy cream mixture, cocoa pebble was so finely squished that it just it just went inside of it still and it kind of clogged up this hole. It couldn't get out, but I just spooned the whipped cream because this thing whips the whipped cream in here. Like there's a bunch of whipped cream in here. Cream. In here, it's all whipped. And I just put it on top of the brownie. So hopefully it still tastes good. First taste test of the cocoa pebble whipped cream. Let's see it. There's a little bit of chocolate milk there, a little bit of heavy cream. Let's see if this is worth it. I understand now why it didn't come out of this. There's definitely little bits of cocoa pebble in it, and it tastes amazing. Because I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm the kind of person, not for just any cereal, but for cocoa pebble specifically, I like to let cocoa pebbles sit and get soggy. And this is the perfect example of that because the cocoa pebbles, I let them sit for a while to get the extract out. But when I strained it, I mushed it down, and now I have the soggy cocoa pebbles that I love. I don't know if you love them, but I have the chocolatiness of it. And then I have, I have the chocolatiness of the chocolate milk, but I have the more refined cocoa pebble flavor, plus the texture that I love, and it's whipped with air in it. It's so delicious. As you can see here, I have a brownie and I have a strawberry. Let's just see what, like, will it taste good with it? Here's a brownie. Cheers. Mmm, -hmm. that's so good. Mm -hmm. To me, Cocoa Pebbles has like a different chocolatey pr flavor profile than most chocolate. It's a little deeper, I don't know why. It's just, I've always felt that way about Cocoa Pebbles. But let's try my strawberry infused. Get a little Cocoa Pebble drizzle on top. Boom, boom, for garnish. Strawberry, Cocoa Pebble whipped cream. Here we go, Mr. Strawberry. In the mouth you go. I think I'm always gonna make cocoa pebble whipped cream whenever I have strawberries now because that is so delicious and I don't know how to explain it. You guys just gotta try this recipe. Just whip it by hand if you don't have one of these makers. It's really easy to whip cream. You just gotta whip it really long. Just don't over whip it because then you'll get butter. But if you whip it long enough, it'll turn into it. I can't thank you guys enough for watching today's video. If you guys get this video to 12 likes, I will make another whipped cream video. I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. because that's when I post a new video. Peace!